Hi there. Uh, I thought I might make this little video to demonstrate how I configured the uh, Sound Blaster THX from Creative uh, to work with my MacBook Air to be able to play records from my record player because this has been giving me a lot of trouble because apparently this is not supported on, on the, the MacBook. Uh, let me just demonstrate, well, let me first show what I'm talking about here. This is the uh, device in question. It's a Creative Sound Blaster. This one is the SBX. I have the THX, but it's basically the same device. This one is newer. Um, you have several connections in the back, as you can see here. I have a gramophone player connected to the Fano in here. I have a pair of active speakers connected to the line out here. And uh, then via USB, this device is connected to my MacBook Air. Okay, so this we don't need anymore. Let me just show you what I tried. I went into si System Preferences. That's the first place. And then, let me just show you. Then you go into Sound. That's this one here. Uh, I selected uh, as output the Sound Blaster. Output works fine, no problems whatsoever. Uh, I can play anything I throw at it, like MP3s, uh, YouTube videos, no problem. The input, however, is another matter. Now, if I start a record player, uh, a record right now, okay. I started record, and uh, you can see that the input level immediately shows that clearly, you know, it's registering sound, uh, some input there. This is not my voice, by the way. To see my voice, we go back here. That's my voice. Still, you hear nothing. It should be playing. You should be able to hear it through the mic, uh, but you don't. So this doesn't work. Uh, then I had, I had to think of something else, and I found something else to do, though it is a bit annoying that I have to do it this way, but I'll show you. What I did was I downloaded this little program here, which is called Audacity. And Audacity is a sound editing and sound recording program, which is entirely free and open source. So you can just download it and install it without you know, any, any further costs or expenses or whatever. Uh, it is a bit confusing, as you can see. Uh, you don't need all these buttons you see everywhere. All you need is just to select the appropriate input, which is the sound blaster. And uh, I mean, this is the output, I'm sorry. Uh, this is the input and you select sound blaster, uh, but you have to select the one that says embedded phonograph. And that's because uh, I believe that record players requires some kind of extra amplification. Uh, so let's select that. Okay. I'd have to check Wikipedia if that, if that was true. I, I think that's the case. So the final step is that you just select Start Monitoring. There you go. And now, as you should be able to hear in the background, uh, you can finally uh, hear the record play. So this is how I got it to work. Um, I hope this helps someone else who's facing or has, uh, yeah, who's facing the same problem I am. Uh, it's a bit of a, yeah, a workaround. It's not exactly a, a perfect solution. Uh, but an, uh, if I find anything better, of course, I'll, I'll, I'll update uh, everything and uh, mention that as well. But for now, this works. So, hope it helped. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and until next time.